This video shows how to solve the course problem when you have a API, a front end, for in this case this local host with the port 4200 and you want to get some results from another, from a back end, from an API back end <coughs> and where do you see this is the test, this one has the port uh, 70073 so when, whenever you try to uh, to refresh those values, uh, load those values, you will see that uh, in the console or in the network log, you get this uh, an error that which says, okay, there's a cause error. This one uh, here, it, uh, where is it? Strict origin when cross origin. So this happens because because a, a front end. Uh, front end tries to jump on that back end and the back end itself only listens on this port so what you have to do you have to go into your uh, in this case it's an uh, C sharp uh, ASP uh, web API and in there uh, in .NET 6 and .NET 7 you have only a program anymore uh, and there's a it so here's a, it always begins with a builder it builds the uh, it's when the application itself start starts when it's compiled then you have to add here a core block so you have to stop it and uh, you have to add here builder services at cores you see this one um, and then you say options uh, add policy you give it a name you say okay this is my uh, my front end which should allow something <clears throat> and then you say the policy which is in there in this uh, in this course theme uh, should be policy allows um, front end calls from a, from another front end either from all if it's open or from uh, from uh, any method any uh, any header uh, Edit. Uh, so this is uh, obviously you may add this. This is my front end. What you have seen in my site. So this is my front end. It's in Angular written, and so you define it in here. On that's like when it's uh, defined or when it's uh, when it's compiled and starting in the uh, in the service, and then you add this. You you're activating it uh, at the end. You say use course, and then you you uh, you're calling that stuff so when I start the server again now the server is running and it listens on that port it's listening and when I'm opening my front end now and I'm refreshing uh, let's say I'm first I do the uh, with F12 you see uh, the caller itself so we are here when I refresh that site yeah then you see uh, values will be uh, given and the values are here so what would you have to do you have to unblock the gate on which it uh, is listening in it 